Welcome back, everybody. 616. Here we go. A little bit better sunshine has been emerging recently. Now we had a lot of sun overall today, particularly this morning when there wasn't a cloud in the sky in Grand Rapids from sun up until Oh, I'd say maybe 11 o'clock, somewhere in there. These uh, stratocumulus clouds or cumulus clouds began to puff up and scatter across the sky. Then they, uh, they started to blossom enough where we got into partly sunny to mostly cloudy skies, even for a stretch there, folks. But uh, not much more than a sprinkle has been seen under a darker cloud. We talked about that last night on the 10 and 11 o'clock shows that that was a possibility, but really nothing more than that and nothing that's really going to cause the pavement to be damp. Now, maybe there is somebody out there that got like a light shower that's in the middle of nowhere, but it hasn't been much here, folks, and I don't anticipate uh, anything of substance rain wise through this evening. We've got some scattered clouds, but those clouds are going to be dissipating and we've got better blue skies emerging as we go forth, trending towards mostly clear skies by late evening tonight, dropping to 63 at 11 o'clock and these winds are virtually calm, very, very light. They'll stay that way out of the west at around five miles per hour. That's it here into the late evening and overnight because of that light winds clearing skies and a dry air mass will be down to similar temperatures to where we were this past morning. So call it 54 uh, on the thermometer to open it up on Tuesday. Similar weather shake out there for Tuesday afternoon as well. We got to 77 in Grand Rapids today looking for about 78 maybe 79 by days and tomorrow. So this slow but sure warm up it will be in motion tomorrow just not really you know materializing in any great warmth on Tuesday. We'll pick it up a little bit more so Wednesday Thursday Friday and eventually we're to near 90 degrees by Sunday afternoon afternoon looks now like there may be a shower chance here on Friday afternoon. We'll see about that. The models beginning to pick up on a subtle disturbance rolling on in there Friday afternoon into the evening. So we'll have to watch out for a shower at that point and then perhaps later Sunday into Monday. But by and large, this stretch of weather is going to be rain free and the red box is showing you where we go back above normal. That will start on Thursday afternoon. Temperatures right now in the lower to mid 70s, 72 after a high of 77 in Grand Rapids. So we have dropped off a few degrees anyhow and similar temps along the lakeshore. Look at these orange and red colors though out in the central plains. That's where they've been recently, so haven't had made a whole lot of progress in our direction recently. But I'll tell you what, as this ridge, which is uh, shooting straight up into Canada, ridge meaning high pressure, and then you hear the word trough. The trough has been coming down into the eastern United States. Well, this ridge is really amplified into northern Canada. That'll begin to get squashed down a little bit, but as it gets squashed down, it will stretch it's warmer air towards us, and that's why we see our warm up Thursday, Friday and beyond winds. Nothing right now. They're going to stay pretty light tomorrow as well. Dew points down into the lower to mid 50s, and they'll be pretty comfortable the next few days as we get towards Friday and especially Saturday and Sunday when the heat starts to build in. That's when the humidity begins to escalate as well back into the muggy zone. So anticipate that uh, by this weekend and into next week. That'll be the main story as the humidity begins to come back into next week. High pressure though overhead. You don't see much happening anywhere nearby. Just a few scattered clouds out there and a similar deal for tomorrow. I think we'll start off with virtually no clouds, but pop these clouds late morning and afternoon. So there may be a sprinkle again under a darker cloud on Tuesday, but I wouldn't anticipate much more than that. Here's the European model going crazy with the green colors. That's overboard tomorrow afternoon. We go through Wednesday, get into Thursday, and there's just not a whole lot to track. But again, towards the end of this cycle, you'll begin to see some showers creeping in from Iowa, and that's the weather system, a weak one that may throw down a shower Friday afternoon. I'll have more here coming up in just a few. Doug and Janice, look at that, though. 90 degree temps by Sunday and Monday. Hot weekend ahead, Anthony. Thank you.